guys! It's time for another Habs News update here, and in this video, we're going to talk about some recent comments that were made by Dominique Ducharme on the fallen comrades of the team, Sergeant Jeff Petrie and run and gun Jake Evans. We'll take a look at a special somebody who made a surprise visit in front of the Habs team today, and we'll take a look at some recent quotes that were made by some of our happy Habs. But first, if you guys are a fan of the Habs, or you came here for your daily fix of John Lou, I mean, come on, look at that. That's filthy, John. Just filthy. Please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy having some more of you Jupiter jumping grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, let's get down to business here, okay? Our boy, Jake Evans, the same guy who was stretchered off the ice in game one, is feeling a little better right now. In fact, Dominique Ducharme would say that Jake Evans, the man, was doing some off-ice workouts today with the team. So... That's a really good sign. Now, there's still no indication on whether he's going to return soon or not, but from what I've been hearing, there is some optimism that maybe, just maybe, he could be back for round three. Phil Deneau would make some comments on Jake Evans and say, hey, we love him, and Jake Evans knows we love him. So now what I want is for somebody to ask Uncle Phil, who do you love more, man, huh? Jake Evans or pizza? As for Jeff Petrie, on the night of the victory, I read a tweet saying that Jeff Petrie was going to return for game one in series three. But Dominique Ducharme today didn't really confirm this, but he did say that he's hoping to get Jeff Petrie back into the lineup early in the next series. So let's hope it's game one, as the man is sorely missed. So, with all the injuries out of the way, the Habs, they had a visitor today during their team meetings. And no, I'm not talking about a mouse or a cockroach or something even more despicable like uh, a hair from Austin Matthews' mustache. Blech. I'm talking about a Habs legend, ex-general manager Bob Gainey. Yeah, you see, the Habs. With the days off coming up, they need to stay focused. I mean, look no farther than what just happened to the Jets. They swept the Oilers, and then they had a lot of time off, and boom, they got swept themselves. So, the boys, they're going to need to stay sharp. So after Bergevin stayed up late watching Better Call Saul, he said, oh my god, you better call Bob. That's right, Better Call Bob. Bob Gainey, come on down. He was in the house today, giving some words of wisdom to the boys. Brendan Gallagher would say that he offered some tidbits from his experiences and how to avoid mental disengagement after coming off a big sweep victory like this. And you know what? That's pretty cool. I like that move. That's classy. Also, I'd just like to point out that it was nice seeing Alexander Romanov in the lineup, you know, with Jeff Petrie going down. I'm glad Dominique Ducharme decided to use Romanov as, hey, he's an offensive defenseman and the guy deserved a shot. He played a sound game back there and Shea Weber would say, hey, I had a little chat with him and the guy was really excited, more than usual, which says something when talking about Romanov or Romanov or Romy or Romaine lettuce, I don't know. Now, before we go ahead and end the video, I just want to point out that Eric Ingalls was pretty upset today, and he showed some disappointment in Mark Shifley. So for those of you that missed it, Shifley did meet with the media again today for a press conference, and he mentioned how he thought Phil Deneau was going to try and shut him down during the series, but what he wasn't expecting was the DOPS to shut him down instead. <sighs> God, Shifley. I don't even know what to say about that, okay? I mean, I could say a lot, but I won't. It's over now, so pff, whatever. Now, Eric Ingalls, he was pretty upset. He made a point about how Pa Byron acted after his charging suspension on Mackenzie Weger. Remember that? Because Polly B acted pretty classy after receiving his punishment, saying he would like to sincerely apologize for his actions, and he learned a lesson. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for today's Habs News Update. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave me a comment down there in the, uh, the comment section. And hey, I'll see you next time.